right. Oops. There we go. We are up and running. And everything is looking good. That's pretty impressive seeing I have not one, but two children on ARC right now. My son, uh, Caleb and James are both on right now. And this is a pretty big um, modification that we made so that they could play together, which I'm pretty excited about. So, all right. We are going to get everything fired up and get working. Good afternoon. You know, James White is streaming on Twitch right now. Well, that means nobody's going to be here then. What are you doing here? Um, let's see. What was I doing? Oh, I know what I need to do. We need to cancel our stream and go over to James White right now. So, well, that's pretty cool. I think I think there's a reality to the fact that um, there's going to be more and more people uh, streaming on Twitch, which is exciting. So let's put our uh, entry in here, Colossians. That sounds like my son. Uh, ooh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't start up uh, chapter verse. Gotta get that going. Uh, Windows build, yes, and start chapter verse up. Ah, there we go. Ooh, that looks fancy. All right, everything is up and running. All right, let's try that again. Colossians. Uh, there we go. So that's good. Okay. Chapter verse is up and running. There we go. Just trying to do my mod job. All right, let's see if we can get this. Why am I on the web? Come on, man. There we go. I don't know if that's going to fit there. Let's see. Nope. So we got, um, so according to Christ, that's where it ends, according to Christ. So we'll do that much. And then go over here, let I add the extra signage. And all right, there we go. Drop that in there. That's going to be our verse for the day. There we go, there we go. I, I am here, James. How are you doing? I think I think you want to check how you say it. Let's try that again. Maybe say, Dad, may I please have some ammo for my gun? May I please? Yes. Uh, let me just... Yes, you may. Just trying to get this guy where he needs to be. With this so epitome did you happen to see we had a conference this weekend all right what's that gun right there james that's a shotgun you want ammo for a shotgun uh, shotgun all right that looks like lily hello lily although i can't hear lily Hi, Lily. All right, so James, here is some shotgun ammo for you. I want you to be careful and not waste it, okay? So this guy right here wants to go for a walk with me. Behavior, enable following. There we go. So Epitome, did you hear that we had a conference this week? At KC Church, did you hear that? Were you aware, sir? Guy is right in the middle of it, but we're going to leave him here to say we'll follow. That should be 100%. Yes. So, uh, let's shut off all that stuff. Lily is here, but I can't hear Lily. She's got a, her pretty bird following her. That's good. This cat is almost done, but it wants some mejo berries. Let's see her. Hi, Lily. Seems. You are unable to hear me. 
There we go. So Epitome is not responding. Comes in here, does a shout out for another channel. Some James White guy. And then doesn't even talk to me after that. Nice guy. Nice guy. I haven't seen him for all this time, and that's how he's going to treat me. Let's see how it is. Ah, there we go. Now Ray, Ray's in the house. We got Kyler is in the house, or Kyle. There we go. Uh, I put six or seven stacks of meat in last fridge. That is fantastic. There's Lily. There's Lily. Hello, Lily. How are, how are you? Looks like you need some better armor, Lily. Would you like some better armor? All right, let's see what we can do, okay? Go ahead and have your bird stop stop flapping around. Um, have your bird chillax a little bit. All right, we should have some stuff already made. Let's grab the grapples. Get rid of this stuff. I don't need that. Nope, nope. All right, we'll put that in there. Don't need that. Don't need that. So the first thing that Lily needs is some boots. Lily's going to need some nice boots. There's some nice boots. There's some nice gloves. There's some nice leggings. But Lily needs a special top. She's going to have something that looks pretty. So here you go, Lily. Ready? Where you at? Come over here. Here is some shoes, some gloves, some pants, and a very special top for you. Go ahead and put that on. Mm-hmm. You like that, Lily? I think Lily might like it. There we go. Now she's looking sharp. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Because every lady likes some fur. There you go. Let's give her a cheer for that one. Lily looking sharp. Look at that. You like it, Lily? Get a pick. All right. Lily in her sharp clothes. I think Lily probably wants to put some paint on it, though. Don't you think so, Lily? So we'll put that arc here. All right. What's your What's your favorite color, Lily? Pink is your favorite color? Let's see if we... Ooh, you know what? I think we might have some pink in here. That's pink, and that's magenta. We'll go with pink. So, Lily, here's some pink. If you ask your dad, he'll show you how to put this um, um, on your uh, clothing, okay? So this is some pink paint for you. And you can go ahead and put that on your clothes. And paint your clothes pink. There you go, okay? Now you can paint your clothes some pink, okay? All right, so we have got um, we've got both of my kiddos on, and we're actually streaming, and it's working, which I am like, I have to say, I'm a little surprised about. I did not think that was going to work. Um, need to get myself fed though. Drink some more water. I think we probably need some food in here. Oh, Lily's starting to look pink. He's starting to look pink, people. Oh, yeah. Starting to look awesome sauce. Let's see there. Put that in there. And I think we're out of stuff in here, and that's not good. Oops, wrong way. Wrong way, Peter. Wrong way. Let's put that over there. We need some spark powder. To spark it up. You know, you got to make everything happen. That's where that's where the lightning happens is spark powder. Got to get that going. Let's see here. Put that in here. Bada bing. Bada boom. All right. So we have got um, a verse to look at today from Colossians 2, 8 through 9. Let's see what this verse says today. It says, see to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy an empty deception according to the tradition of men, according to the elemental principles of the world, 
rather than according to Christ or the Messiah. For in him, that's the Messiah, for in him all the fullness of deity dwells in bodily form. There is a lot there. Let's unpack that a little bit. So, starts right off at the beginning, and this was the focus that I wanted to have today, about being taken captive. What does that mean? Well, for those who um, play on other servers that enable PvP, there is actually a, a way that you can you can put somebody in a uh, cell, right, and lock them in, and you have taken them captive. It's basically to trap somebody, and obviously we don't play like that here because we play PvE players versus the environment. We like playing together, um, but there are other places where people play against each other. And one of the things they like to do is take each other captive. Well, what is what is one of the things about being taken captive? Well, let's think about that. You don't really have your own ability to move around, right? Because if you're taken captive, you're boxed in. You're only going the directions that somebody else is going to permit or let you. Kind of like being in jail, isn't it? And it, and it, and it says... See to it that no one takes you captive through putting you in jail. No, no. What are we talking about here? Philosophy and empty deception. Ooh, what's deception? Well, deception's a lie. That's that's where somebody's lying to you and purposefully to have you not know what the truth is. So we have philosophy and empty deception according to the tradition of men. Hmm, what does that sound like? Kind of sounds maybe something, maybe traditions of men, maybe evolution, a tradition of man, maybe the idea that you can work your way to heaven, maybe the idea that um, there is no God and through philosophy, you know, we, we philosoph people philosophize and get all excited about this idea that there is no God. That's my son, James. So when we think about this idea of being taken captive by empty deception, we have a real uh, danger of that according to the things of the elementary principles, right? Hey, James, James and Caleb. Hey, James and Caleb, why don't you guys come over here and I'm going to show you guys the verse that we're talking about today. Come on over. So, you see the first part of it? What does it say, Caleb? What's that very first word up there? Good job. So it says, see to it that no one takes you captive. What does being taken captive mean? You're right. That's what we were just talking about. Being in prison. You're exactly right. And it was being taken captive through philosophy or empty deception. What's deception? When somebody lies to you. It's not very nice, is it? Somebody lying to you? You have no game audio. All right. Good to know. Um. Dance. You might wish you kept no game audio. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, Fornis. Well, hold on. Before you leave, and before I answer that, right, there we go. why are you leaving? Thank you, Nathaniel. So, we're talking about the fact that people can be taken captive Get out through of my empty house. deception. To the traditions of men geez, according to the reason? elemental principles of the world. So, what are the elemental principles that you're talking about? Well, perhaps you've heard of the spirit of the four elements. Wind, water, earth, fire, the elemental forces. As if they have something magical about them. 
That's what it's talking about. Elemental forces. Things of the created world that people try to say, oh, that, there's power in that. Maybe in crystals or in something of that nature. People are deceiving others with this idea that there is power in elemental principles. Oh, look, there's water, there's fire, there's earth, there's um, wind or air. And they also might say that there's also the this uh, this fifth principle of, of energy or some baloney like that. And the reality is, no, this is the created order. This is what God has made. There's no special spirit in any of these things. They are by the creator, who he is spirit. And so when we talk about this final part here, what does it say? It says, rather than according to Christ or the Messiah or Jesus Christ, for in him all the fullness of deity, all the fullness of God dwells in bodily form. What's it saying? It's saying Jesus is God. So instead of worshiping the created stuff of the world, instead we look at the creator and we see him in bodily form in Jesus Christ. And so this is a very important warning for us and for, for everyone not to be taken captive by the deception that, that the world pushes on us to get us focused on anything but Jesus. Anything. Crystals, you might have heard the latest ones, vibration of the universe. Um, all those things are trying to take you captive. Apparently, it doesn't matter what I'm talking about as far as Colossians 2, 8, 9. Everybody's super excited about James White being on Twitch. So, thank you for the multiple shoutouts to another Twitch channel while I'm streaming and trying to talk about Colossians. Please, everybody who is interested, go check out James White on Twitch. So, when we think about Colossians 2, 8, 9, and we think about how the world just pushes the elemental stuff on us all the time, right? Movies, kids shows, all kinds of stuff. They're always pushing this idea that there's some special power in the elements. Dirt, fire, water, air. There's something there's something magical about it. And why? Cuz they're trying to deceive you so that they can take you captive so that you aren't thinking about what's important, which is Jesus Christ. Instead, you're thinking about dirt and about crystals and silly stuff like that. Um, the Avatar, yeah. The, the, this idea that there's some kind of magic in the things that God created when it takes you away from the focus of the Creator. For in him all the fullness of deity dwells. In Jesus Christ, that is who is God. That is what we should be paying attention to. Not to the elemental principles. The people who push that kind of stuff are pushing it to try to take your mind captive. They don't want you to know the truth. They want you to chase the elements. To be out there hugging trees and... We've got to save the earth. I hate to tell you people, we're not saving the earth. The earth is doomed. It is going to be rolled up like an old garment and cast into fire. It's all going to be burned up and God is going to create a brand new heavens and a brand new earth. And guess what? No more sin. Oh, isn't that going to be wonderful? No more curse. Ooh, isn't that going to be amazing? We wonder about that. The no more curse part. Does that mean no mosquitoes? No ticks? I don't know what what a tick's good for. I mean, seriously? Come on. So, we have the reality that this element, all these elements, are going to burn up with fervent fire. So there's nothing left, and all of it's going to create anew. So why should we be taken captive by empty deceptions about these elemental principles? Uh, well, if mosquitoes existed, they would be better. Yep, they would be on, uh, they would be, I don't know, drinking, um, 
Rape? Nectar? I don't know. Yeah, it's one of those things that's interesting. Welcome, Betty. I looked up the name, by the way, what it means, and I think it's French. Uh, it's a little weird. Uh, but we're glad you're here. So when we think about this statement of see to it that no one takes you captive, it's obvious that this is an active thing that they're trying to do. They are, they are working to try to take you captive. How are they doing that? Music, movies, books. Um, they, they get out there and preach stuff, advertisements, Twitch channels. All of these are trying to take you captive so that you're paying attention to dirt instead of the deity that created the dirt, whose name is Jesus Christ. So when we think about this active work they're doing to deceive us, they want to take us captive. We see it right now. It's French. Yep, that's what I thought. What would I say? I said, I said French. Maybe I didn't. Anyways, yeah, I looked it up in French. Um, so we must fight against being taken captive. How do we do that? Well, first off and foremost, by knowing the truth. The way we can guard our mind against being taken captive through philosophy and empty deceit is by knowing what the truth is. And we know what the truth is in God's word. That's why every single day, without fail, you need to be in God's Word. And we're not talking just, well, I read a proverb, or I read a song, or I read a little bit of daily bread. No, no, no. No, you need to be feeding yourself on God's Word. That means starting off with a book and reading a couple of chapters of it, and then the next day reading a couple chapters more, the next day reading a couple chapters more, and actually finishing a book, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John and reading through them and studying them and understanding them in a way that will guard your mind against being taken captive through these empty deceptions. For they are all over the place and they are trying nonstop to take your focus off of what is true. And the best way to not be taken you know, into one of these empty deceptions is to know what the truth is. One of the examples that I really appreciate is about the Secret Service. The Secret Service, as you might know, is, is tasked with protect, protecting the president. That's their primary task. However, they also have other jobs as well. One of them is um, detecting and um, stopping counterfeiting. So people want to produce uh, counterfeit bills. This is not a counterfeit bill. There's no such thing as a million dollar dino buck, but the idea is still um, to make you understand they are trying to find people who are counterfeiting American money. Well, rather than trying to teach them all the different ways that people counterfeit, instead what they spend all the time doing is teaching the Secret Service about the genuine real money. They show them all the ways that money is created, all the special attributes about it so it can be authenticated that it's genuine that way when they see the false it's very evident the only way to break away from procrastination is to force yourself into god's word no matter how hard it may feel like doing it. that's a very very good point kyler and it will be difficult our sinful body does not want god's word our spirit does but not this body we're in we need to be born again. We need to be given a new heart, new desires. We need to then, as Kyler said, force ourselves to be fed on the true word. It's like, it's like you know you need to eat your vegetables, right? Nobody wants to really eat vegetables, not really. Unless you put enough salt and butter on them. But when we think about it, it's important that we eat our vegetables. That makes us healthy, right? Same thing with the Word of God. Now, what's interesting is, with vegetables, the more you eat them, the more you actually start to like them. Guess what? That's the same thing with the Word of God. The more you read it, the more you'll want to read it. But it does take yourself getting out of that procrastination. you got to give yourself a little bit of, like, we got to do this, even if we don't want to. There's Lily with her pretty bird. Hello, Lily. 
So, did you paint your outfit all pink? Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Yeah. All right. Hey. Yep, that looks pretty, Lily. I like it. Lily's got a very cute pink outfit on. I like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, she's got a really cute laugh too, doesn't she? I will. Let's see if she likes this. Let's see if we can get something here. I think it's this one. Do she like that? Uh, I just noticed there was a sea. There are seagull sounds in the game, but no seagulls. You know, that's a really good point. There are seagull sounds in the game, but no seagulls. You're exactly right. So. What now? Daddy didn't see that. Dad, your dad didn't see that? Yeah, there are seagulls in the game. Yeah, those, they're those birds that attack you. You're right. There are seagulls. Thank you. Um, I don't see any at the moment. Normally, they're floating around here. I keep the guns on them. So that, yeah, right there. That's one of the seagulls right there. That was, that was a parasol. There's seagulls in here. You're right. Um... Two weeks of no soda and still going strong. Well done. So you should be well out of the addiction stage now. You should be feeling pretty good about that. You should be doing pretty good. All right, let's see how this guy's doing. Almost done. Let's see. We got to get some dinosaurs out here and get them fed. And put this in here because they need some more meats. So, five minutes with no soda. Well, Timmy's been going two weeks, and I'm going to brag about Timmy for a minute now, because he was doing 24 cans of Mountain Dew, I think he said, every two days, which is horrifying. And now he's gone cold turkey, he has been faithful, and God has blessed him, and he should be completely over the, um, the withdrawals and the addiction. So, and look at that. Andy had no soda this week, too. Well done, guys. And there is there is a good alternative, by the way, um, to soda that you can have. Um, uh, soda. I think it's alternative. Let's see where I can find it. Um, what's up? Zevia. So, we do Zevia. There's a lot of different flavors. And it is it is not soda, has no calories, no sugar, and um, it's got the bubbly though, no sugar, no artificial sweeteners. Uh, it's not super cheap, but it is something I like the um, I like the lemon, and there's another one too, lemon, and there's an orange one. So if I like I like a little bubbly drink, and. This is a good bubbly drink. My wife, I think, likes a grapefruit. And there is, there's an orange one. But I recommend Zevia if you want to have something bubbly. But I'll just get club soda. Well, you can do club soda, but club soda really doesn't have any taste. So, yeah, the root beer one is actually good. I do like the root beer one. You're, you're right about that. So, yep, there's a good root beer one as well. All right. We got Tim in the house. How are we doing, Tim? Hey. I am joyous. You're a little quiet, but it's nice to see you. All right, we have get these guys oh. out of the way. Hush. There we go. Now I can hear you, Tim. So we're looking at our burst of the day today, which is talking about not being taken captive. Very important. I'm gonna go ahead and move Lily's bird out of here. Alright, so when we look at this verse, um, it's very important to understand that this is something we have to actively fight against. See how it says, see to it? That means it's going to take work. This is, this is going to be an ongoing battle for you. Every single day, you are going to need to see to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy or empty deceptions now these are many they're happening all the time we had a conference this weekend that talked about something called crt critical race theory 
which is an example of a philosophy trying to take people captive. And it's completely unbiblical, and yet people are trying to say it is. And it has taken many churches captive. And it was very scary to hear that. But you know what was amazing? You know what the answer is to all of these problems, Tim? About how we're supposed to fight against them? What is it, Lily? What's the most important thing in the world? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're exactly right. And the gospel message. So, um, I feel great. My back pain is almost gone. Yeah! Almost better. Lost five pounds so far. My keto diet is going well, too. Timmy, I'm so excited for you. I am I am doing well with my keto diet as well. Did have a couple of uh, chips last night, but it was pretty good. So hopefully somebody will drop explanation point gospel in there for me so we can talk about the gospel message because this is how we fight against empty deceptions and philosophies. We do so with the truth of the gospel. Do you know the gospel? Gospel means good news. The bad news is we have all sinned and deserve the wrath to come. In fact, God is good. That's part of the bad news for us because we're not. However, that's not where the that's not where the story ends. But Jesus, the Messiah, died for our sins, was buried and then raised again on the third day according to all the scriptures about him. He ascended into heaven and right now is seated at the Father's right hand. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. Think about that for a minute, guys. He, he literally said he's the truth. He is the truth. That's an amazing statement. The only person who could claim that would be God himself. And guess what? That's exactly who he is. He is deity, God in human form. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. That means right now, people. What are we to do with that? Repent and believe in the gospel. Best news ever. So uh, we got a question right there. I didn't see it. It was from Betty. Betty said, is a Christian ARC server? And I think, yes, it is Christian server. But anyways, welcome. Exactly. I don't play this game. Well, it's a very fun game to play. It has a lot of opportunities to do many different things in it. One of them is be able to hang with friends, like my brother Tim here. <laughs> and very thankful that we can have our kids on here. Somewhere around here, my sons are running around uh, on their dinosaurs having a great old time. But we have um, that Starbright. That's a pretty, pretty cool... Uh, Colored bird that you got there, Tim. That's yeah, pretty neat. Thank you. So There's, yeah, I got a couple others just between breeding those. Man, I'll, you'll have to see those. They're really, really cool. Oh, cool, I like that. Uh, those colors I got are that pretty cat neat. Teams. I'm gonna have to show you that one. Cool. I got. We got. Oh, look at that! Lily knows how to wave. Oh, got away from Lily. Do? keep trying to figure out the right, right. one which one you so maybe, maybe maybe lily wants to this see this one maybe she wants there to see we this go. one oh thank you lily <laughs> look at peter rocking out all right so romans and ephesians i think will be two of my favorite epistle books i think you're right i mean romans is amazing i i think ephesians as well is phenomenal has a lot of really really good commands in it for us on how we should live and what's interesting is the gospels matthew mark luke and john describe what jesus did okay acts also describes how jesus's ministry continued after that they are descriptive not prescriptive okay then we have the epistles like ephesians and romans and and all those those books tell us how we are to live as christians so it says, I just bought some books. I'll wait before buying a game. Well, that's, you know, you won't go wrong with books. Yes, Roman and John, all very, very good books. So. Lily, do you know what book we're reading in? Mike. Not Mark. 
I thought she said Mike. I'm like, the book of Mike. I don't remember that one. So, as we close out with our thoughts around this verse today, Colossians 2, 8, 9. See to it. Work, guys. Work. See to it that no one, no one takes you captive, puts you in prison, takes you captive. How? Through philosophy and empty deceptions or deception according to the tradition of men things that people well, i think this is what it is i don't care what you think i care what god says that's what matters you know what? according to the elementary principles the things of the world rather than according to christ the messiah for in him in jesus christ all the fullness of deity dwells in bodily form. In Christ, we have God with us. What a blessing. Uh, this game was once free on Epic. If you were on the lookout, you might save some cash if that's your thing. Yep, every once in a while it is on sale. I don't know if it is right now, but sometimes it is. Let's see. Um, on no, the Peter, Epic... for you and I, <clears throat> hopefully you can hear me here. Let me move this. I can. I can bit. hear you. There we go. You know, I just look at that verse and it says, see to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy and empty deception. Yep. Um, again, according to the tr tradition of men. And, and that's just literally so many people saying, you know, they're using their intellect to say, well, this and this and this and this. And you're like, no, that's your, you know, you because of science or hang on one minute. Mute that real quick. Hi there, Mr. Chan. Oh, <laughs> hey, Brady. <laughs> uh, I don't want to interrupt you there. And, and it is. No it's important. It's important that we pronounce it properly as well, because sure it's empty deception. And I think I said deceit. So Tim was right to enunciate that word properly. It's deception, uh, not deceit. I'll give you a shout about seven then here in about fifteen minutes. All right. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, Freddy. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye-bye. You want to push me on yours so it's not echoing back? Thank you very much for stopping the echo, Tim. I appreciate that. <laughs> that uh, yeah, one of the guys from uh, from our church. He's like, hey, <laughs> you ready to go? <laughs> nice. That sounds awesome. Hey. Currently, it's twenty nine ninety nine, Betty. That's why I dropped that in there. Uh, I just checked it on the Epic Store. It's twenty nine ninety nine, so that's not on sale. Um, but with the with Genesis coming out, I'm assuming it might change its price. Let's see how much Ark is on Steam. So you were saying, Tim? Yeah. So you know, just so sometimes I go out, and, and I'm sure you've experienced this as well. Um, as we talked, you know, a lot of people want to want to say well this is my opinion this is my opinion it's all you know about intellect well you know science says or the world says or you know then they take it as uh, romanist traditions and things of that nature and you know it's just interesting with that um you know going through that see to it that no one takes you captive it's like is if you are silent and allow them to continue to go on and on like you never get to the gospel and you know, as you, you and I have learned, sometimes we have to say, look, you know, let's, let's get past the intellect for a minute. Let me ask you this important question, right? Are, are you a good person? You know, do you, are you afraid of death? You know, things of that nature and get to the gospel because otherwise it could be 30 to 40 minutes and it's just like, well, okay, this, this is okay. Yes, the mind is the place of argument. Good. Yes, and we want to talk to their conscience. We want to talk to the place right. of right and wrong so that they can understand, oh, wow. I am in trouble with how I currently am standing before a holy God. Or as we learned today, a thrice holy God. They kept saying that, a thrice holy God. And it's true, he is holy, holy, holy. That is a, a very important clarification. There are things that are described as holy. His holy temple, for example. The, uh, the holy aspects of the temple. Even the ground was holy where the burning bush was. But when we talk about God, he is holy, holy, holy. He is thrice holy. He is a thrice holy God. 
And so please guard your mind, people. And again, how do we guard our minds? Through the regular reading of God's word and writing it upon our hearts, having it in our minds, having it be something that we can memorize, we can quote so that when somebody tries to throw something that is a philosophy or empty deception according to the tradition of men, we know what God's word says. And another thing too is understanding it too for our own when we might be misunderstanding it. It's important that we help each other out. I just had a brother who I spoke to yesterday who thought that Matthew 18 meant that any time he saw somebody sin, he needed to go tell him. And I said, well, hold on. You need to actually read it fully because it says, if a brother sins against you, then you need to go to him. And he was like, oh, I missed that. And so this is where knowing God's word rightly and reading it regularly renews the mind and helps us to what? To see to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy and empty deception according to the tradition of men, according to the elemental principles of the world, rather than according to Christ. For in him, that is in Jesus Christ, all the fullness of deity dwells in bodily form. Amen, amen. We got Jim in the house. Welcome, Jim. Did you have something else you wanted always to add, Tim? Me. Yeah, it's just I always think of, you know, going back to my favorite verse of First Thessalonians 2, 4, and it always talks about, you know, a lot of verses talk about here's man and then here's God, right? In First Thessalonians 2, 4, where it says, for as we've been approved, um, by God sharing the gospel or to being entrusted to sharing the gospel. So we speak not as pleasing men, but it's pleasing God. Um, and it's just neat how you see that all throughout scripture. It's like, Hey, here's the warning against trying to please man or live according to man's laws and principles and things of that nature. Uh, you're going to do that or, you know, again, going back to that other verse too, it says, do not fear the one that can kill the body, but fear the yes. one that can kill the body and cast the soul into hell as well. Hang on, please. Proper fear and is fear uh, of the Lord. In fact, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And to turn from evil yeah. is understanding. You know how we should be very thoughtful of how powerful God is. It is right to fear him. Because as Tim just said, he can cast you body and soul into a horrible place called hell. And it is absolutely horrible. There's nothing good about it. In fact, it gets even worse of just being a lake of fire. As we read right here, all liars will have their place in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. And I had to look up what brimstone is. It's actually a rock made out of sulfur. That's on fire. So not only are you in a lake of fire, basically falling in fire all the time, your whole body on fire, never being consumed because you're in a perfect body that is eternal and it was made to be eternal and never fade away and you will perfectly experience being burned over your whole body. How does it get worse? You're getting pummeled by burning rocks. Like, I'm sorry, there's, and it's forever. You never get out. It's the worst. It's the worst of the worst. And and that is where people go who don't fear God. Because they're foolish. They're described as fools. And they will spend forever in that lake of fire, burning for their sin against a thrice holy God. The knowledge and theories of men are so intertwined with what is normal and what is taught that it is hard for people to tear away from it. Exactly. That's why we need the Word of God to be able to tear away from it. This is what enables us to tear away from the world and its empty deceptions. For through it, we will renew our mind and we'll strengthen our understanding so that we can spot those deceptions. 
and protect ourselves from it. It is a wonderful, wonderful thing that we can have the Word of God available to us all the time, today, in our hands, in our on our smartphones, right? Even in games, right? Even in games, we can have the Word of God and available to us. Why? So that we can know Him. So that we can know what the truth is. Rather than listening to the empty deceptions of men, listen to the truth of God. And who does that go with? That is Jesus Christ. That is the, the one who died on the cross for us. The one who said, I am the way and the truth. You want to know what the truth is? Go to God's word. And as a faithful brother says, named Justin Peters, said, you want to hear God speak to you personally? Read the Bible. You want to hear God speak to you audibly? Read the Bible out loud. All right, you take care, Tim. Enjoy your Bible study. We got the gospel again. Look at that. Gospel again. This time, we're going to go through the million dollar bill gospel. Right down here. This is by Ray Comfort. The million dollar question. Will you go to heaven when you die? Have you lied, stolen, used God's name in vain, or lusted? Which Jesus said is adultery. Matthew 5, 28. Maybe somebody could pop that in there. If so, God sees you, and me by the way, as a lying, thieving, blasphemous, adulterate heart. If you die in your sins, you will end up in a terrible place called hell. But there's a good news. Though we broke God's law, Jesus paid the fine by dying on the cross. He didn't just die on the cross, by the way. He actually took the wrath of God while he was on that cross. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16. Maybe somebody will drop that in there. Then Jesus rose from the dead and was seen by hundreds of eyewitnesses. He fulfilled all the prophecies of the promised Savior. Please, today, repent and trust Jesus and God will forgive you and grant you eternal life. That's Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. And maybe we can get that as well. So we have, but uh, Matthew 5, 28. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. God sees our heart, people. What else? John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. And then we look at Ephesians. Or that was 17, sorry. Uh, for God did not send his son into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him. He is coming back, by the way. And when he comes back, that's the one that's going to be for judgment. Oof. But I'm looking forward to it, because I am saved, or by grace I have been saved, you have been saved, through faith, and not by, and not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not as a result of works. Why? So that no one may boast. There will be no one in heaven who says, I got here on my own. No one. Why? Because all have sinned. All have fallen short of the glory of God. There is no one righteous. No, not even one. We read that in Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We have a Nathaniel saying, guess what? What happened? Did chapter verse reset? Uh, usually quote uh, New King James, but now I'm seeing ESV. Uh, just put in, yes, uh, we're currently working on a new version. Tomorrow's your birthday, Nathaniel? Oh, wow, dude. All right, well, um, I'll be on tomorrow, so I'll wait to wish you a happy birthday. I'm assuming I might see you tomorrow. So, yes, we have a new version of Chapter Verse running only on the Missionary Gamer channel, so you'll have to reset your um, your preference. This is a 3.0. We just added the web version, and we also added, I don't know if I can remember how to spell it right, Evangelio. No, I messed that up. I gotta look it up. I was so close. I was so close. It's. There we go. El Evangelio. That's as far as I'm going. I'm not going any further on that. But I did get a chance to use it today with somebody in um, ARC who uh, was from Brazil. 
but I got a chance to share it with them. And I was very excited about that. Very thankful for that. Well, let's move some of this out of here. And it's all cooked out. If I can get to it from here. Why whip so cool? There we go. Alright, so we can get some there. Yep. Oh, that there. And that there. Get this ready for coming up. Alright, there we go. Oh, come on. Let's hear it. No. No, I know better. I know better. But that's a new version, so yeah, you'll have to reset your preference. Once you do, it'll remember it. I uh, should be rolling that out by end of month. So we got all the videos done from the conference, and the conference was awesome, guys. Absolutely awesome. You weren't there, you totally missed out, but guess what? You can still check it out, because we're posting it to um, the KCC page. I think... I think it's... Yeah, it's on the Twitch channel, so hold on here. Twitch, KCC. You can see it on the Twitch page for KCC. I'll drop that in here. Get the videos up. Might be quiet eventually. So let's see here. Um, trying to see the uploads and highlights. So this was an amazing weekend. Trying to find the session one. Three, two. There we go, this is pretty cool. Hold on. Hold on, wait for it. Wait for it, where'd it go? There we go. All right. Um, oh, this, this, was, was, uh... this was a pretty funny opening line. I started watching last time I was at work. Might be able to watch some more tonight, yes. And it will be posted up on YouTube shortly, but it is currently all available on Twitch right now. Question and answer, sort of an opportunity to meet our speakers. Uh, just looking at you guys right now, I realize we probably look like an Oreo cookie sitting up here, don't we? <laughs> that's, a good look, that's a good look for you. <laughs> All right. Daryl. What's that? Yep, we're live streaming. So I encourage you guys to check this, uh, the conference out. It was the 2022 Equipping Conference at Casey Church. And it was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And it will be posted to YouTube shortly as well. So how's this guy doing? We gotta do this, and we gotta do this, and we gotta do that. This one is going to hopefully grow up nice and strong. And you're gonna be a new Mrs. Yes, Mrs. Marine at 457. We're getting there. We're getting there. 57. Wanna get up to 500. That's the goal. Get up to 500. Uh, it was an amazing conference. Yeah, the Oreo cookie comment was pretty funny. And there's a lot of them. There's a lot of really, really funny comments. And just just a wonderful opportunity to see these guys. They had great chemistry. Jim just got along great with them. There's a lot of fun banter. I got um, Virgil's card, which is pretty cool, from G3. And it's just the thing I really appreciate about it, um, from my perspective, the the whole CRT thing, I did, I did not realize how prolific it was. But... The answer to all of these questions of what are we going to do with this crazy world around us? How do we solve this insolvable problem is the gospel. And I was so grateful for that. It was an absolute blessing. How's this guy doing? You're doing good. We're going to go out and get some food. Because we're, we're, we don't have enough food. Now, what did I figure out was the best thing to get beaten? I think it was a beauty? Is that it? No, it was a kitty cat. The ranger was the best thing to get to meet. That's it. And it's a sweet ride, too, so. Do I have a good saddle on this guy? Yes, I do. Let's go get some food. Going shopping. You know, time to get some get some food. Who's this guy? Oh, that's working him. Alright, cool. Got himself a little house. Nice. Did a good job. We will probably move that later on, but we'll let him go. That was, that was actually the one I got a chance to show the guy. 
using the new Spanish uh, version because he is from Brazil. That was pretty cool. Bouncing. All right, Andy says, it hit my church and now I'm a sojourner. Oh man. Yeah, the the critical race theory stuff is complete garbage. It really is. I've got to figure out how to get rid of all of this stuff. This is like... Not good. And this thing should be almost dead, I'm assuming. That's almost dead. Let's wait for it to die out. Yeah, I did not understand the totality of it until the uh, conference. But it's bad stuff. I mean, it's, it's a false gospel. And the, uh, ooh, that's a big shark. Kill it. That is shut down for the time here. So until we get uh until we get that stuff re-engineered. Get the shark. Hey Al's here. I need some raw fish. So we've got Oh Mama's cooking something in the other room that smells good! We will be, as you guys have heard, we are uh, changing up our streaming schedule because I am uh, needing to get a day job or some contract work, which I am going to start uh, mentioning on the stream. If anybody knows the contract work, people might be, are you kidding me? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Are you kidding me? You tried to take my whip? Oh, did he get it? No. So let me uh, let me get rid of this. Guys. Up. I am not bashful. And I'm looking for work. Uh, work has to be uh, remote. Contract. Uh, guys. All right, there we go. So I have a I have two profiles I'm working on. I don't know if you guys use uh, LinkedIn or not. Just started seeing about this thing too. This space thing. It's kind of interesting. Let me give this a try. But, uh, let's see here. We've got Upwork and I left LinkedIn. All right, here we go. So this is my Upwork profile. I am a freelancer. And I don't quite know how I'm supposed to share it out. Just for direct contacts. No. Help. No. That'd be a good way to share it, right? Got like a weird GUID number. That's not helpful. Copy link. Let's see what this is. Yeah, it's a link. Oh well. It all works. Uh let's see here. Uh all I get from LinkedIn is scam job offers. Uh so I was thinking of doing some work on the Discord server. Just wondering what you would like to see, bots, rules, etc. Really, I mean, you you know what we're doing, dude. I trust you with that. I saw the cool stuff you did with yours. I appreciate any help uh, you're up for helping with. So thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, but this is my LinkedIn, my uh, Upwork profile. So I am considered a full stack developer and uh, able to work with basically just about any type of technology. So if you know anybody who needs uh, work, I really wanna focus on Unreal Engine and all the elements there. But uh, if you happen to know anybody who needs it, I'd appreciate it. Yes, I actually started using LinkedIn to post some Devo. Thought about calling it Encouragement Corner. Well, here is my, where's my LinkedIn? Here we go. This is my uh, LinkedIn profile right here. So that's not me. How do I get me? New profile, there we go. So this is me. Uh, if you want to check me out, send me a uh, connection. I have a whole big uh, two connections. <laughs> so this is, uh, I agree with, it's one of the problems I have with LinkedIn and Upwork and all these. They're basically data mining us, and I understand that. But there is the opportunity to use it. So uh, nope, that's not you. 
Yes, that is me. Thank you. Uh, but anyways, if uh, you know anybody who needs some contract work done, specifically in Unreal Engine, that will be the area of my focus. And I'm really good with uh, problem solving and things of that nature. And very much so looking for like smaller projects and kind of stuff. Build up the uh, build up the resume, the, uh, the ability to have people understand what I'm capable of, and then hopefully do contract work, be able to pay the bills, and keep doing the ministry. That is my hope. Uh, no, the other profile I was speaking of that. Oh yeah, I definitely wasn't. There. I think it was an ad. Hey, there's Luke! Luke! Ah, there he goes. Al, have you tried Fiverr? I have not. I don't know if is Fiverr a good uh, choice for the type of work I do. My understanding was Upwork was way to go. Hey, thank you very much. Awesome channel. First time to that. Appreciate that. Uh, do you have a Discord server? Nathaniel has an awesome Discord server. Nathaniel, go ahead and drop in the link if you would like to invite me to it. No worries there whatsoever. Full permissions, especially seeing you got mod access and so you can just drop it and go. Alright. Out of there. So, do you, uh, Al, do you recommend um, fiber? Kim said, okay, got work as usual. We'll be back later. So I, I will be wrapping up in 50 minutes. So, I had to change my hours pretty considerably. So, I will probably not see you later, Jim. But either way, I hope you have a blessed day. Timmy says, how far are you willing to travel for work? I'm hoping, Timmy, to be able to work remotely and uh, not travel unless it's like for a temporary thing. Luke! 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 I can hear you, sort of. I can hear you, Luke. How you doing, buddy? There you go. Uh, I'd give fiber as a category for just about anything. If if you think it's a good opportunity, I'll go ahead and give it a shot. I'm not against it. We were we were going to uh, put our house on the market, but after talking with our pastor and Jess and several of the other elders, uh, everybody's advice is no, don't put it on the market yet. Wait to see how things play out. So we are. I, one of the things that we do is we listen to good godly counsel and these are, these are godly men and that is one of the ways that you ensure that what you're doing is you know, in God's will is seek the guidance of godly men and especially those in authority over you and follow their guidance. It, it is amazing how many times you'll hear uh, you know, a situation where people say, oh well, this is what I'm going to do. What do you think? And they hear, they have people giving them godly guidance. And it goes in one ear and out the other. Well, I'm going to do this anyways. God works with other godly people. Luke, how have you been? It seems like forever. It's only been like two days. Oh, okay. Good. Only two days. Good. Right now, actually four. Technically, if you technically count the four. days of the conference. Yeah. Did you stop by the conference at all? Uh, yeah, yeah. I watched the stream for a little bit. Cool. Well, you should have said hi. We're glad you stopped well, by. Well, I wasn't logged in. Oh, yeah, I see. I'm the only one who knows. Who is, so. I see. How's your dad doing? Hey. Okay. Here's my amazing daughter. This amazing daughter. 
Oh, you can pull outside. Come back. Are you you're gonna go bounce? Go bounce away, young lady. Amanda, Rachel. Uh, Where's your mom? Okay, well, I wonder why you're asking me, because I know your mom was out there. There we go. R-O-I-T. I mean, it's not awesome damage, but... It gets the job done. It's a bleed. Get the bleed. So one oh, of the I things have we gifts for you. you got gifts for me? What have I done to get gifts? Why should I deserve such kindness? Alright. You're gonna guys. do this every day until you open the Vagara server up to everyone. I'm actually going to do that. <laughs> well, we're getting there, we're getting closer. Uh, we do need uh Megala or Venom. Megalania. Yeah, we need Magalania of Venom. But for we, we need ten more if we're gonna do the we're gonna do all Lucky. the bosses on Friday. All bosses? Well, oh, all of the monkey. Yeah, all the all the monkey. Monkey's Man. easiest on Alpha, so if we do do all three versions of the monkey, gamma, beta, and alpha, we should be able to do it with the high level Rexes. With good health, good saddles, damage. I'm going with uh, aloes. Well. Let's see here. What is your favorite color? Purple? Why do you ask? Oh, because I will bring my extra Rex just in case if the aloe that you're riding dies. You can hop on my uh, Rex just in case. Well, I hope my aloe won't die. Nah. It's a uh, backup, just in case. I appreciate Because two is one, one is none, I am bringing two aloes just for me. But you never know. What did I get organic You never know what happens in the boss. Oh. Except for what the boss does, which I know pretty much everything. I'm still wondering if we should fight him in the area, because somebody said you should wait till he comes to you, and I'm like, really? Really? No, no, don't do that. You'll well, have a I smaller wonder. space, and if it gets, if it catches you on the bridge, you're done for. Because then it can push you off the bridge, especially the aloes. Those will get more pushed back uh, instead of the rexes. My dad works for S A I C. Is looking for people to work, and I believe you can work remotely. I know his team is looking for people to train and use Unreal Engine. Really? Oh, you know, uh, that's where I'm looking, so... Oh. Yeah, the gifts. Cool. I was gonna give you. Right. All from the cave. All from the cave, huh? Of Valghetto. The Valghetto cave. 242, that's a pretty good rifle there. And a 243 or 53 whip, I will not say no to that. Thank you very much. Hopefully the durability is high on that. 195, what was the durability amount? 47, yeah, that should last a little longer. And, and we got a chainsaw blueprint. And A, we're raising a Dodicarus right now. So that is such a timely gift. Thank you, Luke, that was very thoughtful. Oh, come. All right. So I gotta figure out how to get out. Uh, but we need uh, we need some. I'll send your LinkedIn for you if you like. That would be wonderful. Thank you, Timmy. I appreciate it. Let's see, two more prime, prime all the time, prime all the time. So much prime. All right, no, a too much. Every time I go on the server, there's a weird bug that it won't let me pick up any Deinonychus eggs or Wyvern eggs. It just spoils instantly, weirdly. Oh, weird. And 
only happens to me. Keep obsessing. Wrong box. Wrong box. Wrong box. There we go. That's what I want. Uh, let's see. Anything that I'm the board? Nope. I mean, I couldn't make it. We always need flint. Always need flint. Make that 300. Uh, prime. And that times by six. All right, there we go. How can I move? Yeah, I can move again. Oh, one thing that I have on uh, mail order borrowing from the library, which finally came out like um, last night or the day before. Make sure you shut that off if you're done with it. Oh, did you watch it yet? Nope, it's still coming. It's your mail order library. You'll like it, yes. it's really good. Really good. Uh, if you're done with that, Luke, go ahead and shut it off. Yes, we, we watched it. My kids have watched it several times. It is very funny. I still think the first one, though, is better. Just personally. But it's a preference thing. I it's may a, have to disagree with you on that. It, you haven't I even seen it yet. How can you disagree with you? You haven't seen it yet. I said I might have to. It's still got the best line. Did that tank have a baby? Uh, true. That's a funny line. Did that tank just have a baby? Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to go for it. So let's put that guy. Got all about you down here, buddy. How you doing? Sorry. You want major berries? Really? We might be able to figure that out. Major berry? Major berries. Major berry? For oh, my ring? You know. No, it's for the for fish. I'm raising another Rex. um nope. Where is it? Oh, Ooh, it's over eggs. here. Don't mind if I do. Come on, Major. Oh, there we go. Pelagornists! We don't like no Pelagornists. No, we don't. It's a dimorphodon. Oh. Alright, get this done. Just put it there. Like oh, this. What color yeah. is this? Yeah. Eh, not bad. It's, it's apparently the colors are sticking to sea pickle green and yellow. It's a big pickle. Uh, I'm like, what is that? Uh, if those color, that's oh. the Dimorphodon. That was really weird. On you, need a cool saddle on you. So we'll put that right there. We'll get that a little bit. Uh, yeah. Like it. Yeah, it should be done. Yeah. I don't think so. Alright, there we go with that. What's with and the Rex? What's with the Rex? What do you mean? It's stuck underneath all handing pad. I don't know. Are you done yet? Nope, almost. Almost. This guy is... going pretty good. That's our 457. Excited about that. We don't have a 457 yet. Okay. This guy on the other hand is right in the middle of the way. You need to know. I'll try a new whip out on you. Whip. That was not that was not the whip. That was a grapple. That was not the great grapple. Now this is a problem. This Wait, is this is kind of awkward. Whoa! Yeah, that's Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Wow! Wow! Uh, win. Uh, this is just uh, weird. Like so fun. Uh, that's just odd. Not what I intended to do. Get over there. One more time. Get over there. Get over there. Talking to you. Get over there. All right, out of way. So this kitty cat right here. We have here a ninety-eight thylacolio a... saddle in here. Ooh, which is good because I got a thylacolio over here. I need to put it on. So this one is a four twenty-three, and it is a female. 
So we're gonna call you BP. Mrs. Be Mrs. Ranger 423 Pink. We need to go on a hide run, which is a good thing I got you that uh, chainsaw. Hide run? There's tons of hide in here. Look at this. Look how much hides in there? All kinds of hide in Might have to turn on the big machine. Right, about uh, that. Yeah. Move some more of that. The hide. For saddle making, if we're gonna make really good Thalakolio saddles, yeah. Thalakolio is next to Nanonicus. Put this in here. Uh, it's a Relax good thing so. that when you repair tech, it doesn't actually require tech to repair. It just requires polymer, metal, crystal, and black pearls. Nice. Oh, we have enough to make multiple saddles, actually. Yay! Uh, looks like we need more hide, though. Well, why don't you start moving the hide over from the furnace? There's a ton of hide in the furnace that needs to get moved over. I did that already. Well, if you would uh, continue to do it, that would be helpful. So we yeah. need we need more of the megala. What's it called? Megalania toxin. Megalania. Megalania. We need more megalania toxin. Gonna do them all on. We got everything else we need. Uh, our dog is barking at like crazy. Yeah, it is. Crazy dog. You can hear it through the mic, can't you? I can. It's kind of annoying. So, grab that. Two, three, four. How are we doing? Really hot? Then you've come to the right place because I have really cool air conditioning. Uh, air conditioning is the best in the hey, summer. Especially when the friend has got a new pool what that's about the smaller. Hey, Bassy, try Tina. I haven't found them yet. Well, I'm teaming another one up right now. Wait, is it pink? Right there. Tyler says, must be seeing a cat or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty loud. Um, All right. He doesn't really bark at cats. He just barks at people walking by our street or house. Like, he still barks at them like two or Oh, this one? Way. I thought you'd like this. Cool. Got like a pink underbelly sort of thing going on. Kind of neat, huh? And pink paws. And pink paws. Right? I can name that one, um, Pink Shadow. Well, that one is a female for breeding. So, son of a bash. One, two, three, go! Oh, I didn't know this was very good to do! Okay, we got to do Rolling oh, on the floor! Go. That was an epic fail. Okay. No, but they're so cool. Guitar, you do air drums. Three, two, one, go. One. Well done. Well done. Hey, awesome. you do the air guitar? I just did the air guitar. No, that was the air drums. Oh, he did the air guitar. Whoa, that was quite the jump. What's following me? Why is he following? What are you doing? Why did you set this guy up to follow you? I whistled it when I was doing the guitar. Yeah, you did. Okay, we got to get these guys. These guys are done, so we can put you away. Go away. I'll go put that gun away. Helpful to somebody. What gun? Uh, uh, this gun right here. Really nice, right? Hey, Daddy, can I tell you something? What? The rowing shield, there was this baby chair, and, like, and it was only two dollars, and so I was able to set it aside for me to get, and now I have a baby stroller for my uh, baby. Oh, really? Yeah. Although it's too short. Too short? But I don't really care. Why is it too short? I think it was meant for a little kid to carry, but it, it is really cool. Oh, I also got a pair of 
Handcuffs that came with the key. One twenty-seven. Ooh, is it rubber or plastic? What? Rubber or plastic handcuffs? Metal. They're metal, metal handcuffs. I haven't I seen toy metal I, Yeah, I need to see those like, before you put them on anybody. Or Shame, before rubber. you kids play with them, I want to see them. That doesn't quite toys sound right. No toy should be metal. I mean, well, this is an airsoft gun. Unless it's a metal truck. Or airsoft gun. Oh, LOL! That's James. Okay. So we've done our shopping trip. We've got our guys set up. This one's almost uh, done. You mean oh, wait, what's your killing mission? We go get new dresses. New dresses. Other dresses in our. Uh, not that are well. Yes. Not that are a good idea. And For these certain events. Oh, I can't wait to get over there. Christmas event. Get over there. Event is gonna be so fun because then guess what I can get. The full body oh, Santa suit. Oh boy. Get out of the sign. That's not where I want you. Might be a little bit. Hard. The whip is so hard to control, but it's so fun. Especially when you can grapple to it and whip it at the same time. Which is good, especially if you're on a giga. That was not a plan. That was not a plan. Wait, Daddy, so if, if you grappled you onto a giga, can it hurt you? Uh, only if you're on a scale. Wait, can you grapple onto dinosaurs? Yeah, I did that by accident. Yeah. Cool, cool. So you can, can even do it to your own pet Giga. Oh, Gigas will only rage unless it's like under 2,000 or 1,000 health, so it's a good thing to have it, um... Name your pink shadow! A ton of health! A ton of health? Not just a little bit of health, but yeah. health. Yeah. Look, Otherwise, it's a levitating yeah, egg! Right. A great <laughs> levitating egg! <laughs> <laughs> the great levitating egg. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Rachel. That should be a clip it. Watch the We will be watching that, but not tonight. This guy is filming some more. Oh, is it juvenile yet? And they go. They grow up so fast. They grow up so fast. Which one did you put her in? Uh, I don't remember. Him? That's nah, mostly berries and meat. That's all you need? Berries and meat? Berries and meat? Berries and meat? I'm getting a tickler from Caleb. Oh, it's already 82.4 yeah. on this. I traded, Caleb, on I traded orange plots to Caleb in order for him to give me... This guy should be done any second now. 99.9! 99.9! Come on, man, you can do it! 99.9, you know you want to. I don't have a saddle for it, though. 100! Is there? Hopefully it's twins. But what? no, that was... was oh. That was... That was done. So, oh. Yeah, now we gotta yeah. figure out what we're gonna do here. I got the... Uh, I got it mixed up. Yeah, so. oh. that's pretty cool, huh? Hopefully it's yeah. pink, uh, Wait, is that male cute? and green no? and hopefully twins because oh, that would be, be amazing. Be. Because I really need a high. Caleb said that he's gonna get his own cat. Yeah, that's probably it then. That's a pretty cool looking cat. But I think if we have. the colors go through because. That's what I'm wondering. Should we do that one? I think I have another one down here for mint. For pink? Female? Mint. Yeah, I got a mint down here. Mint. Female 423 mint? and a mint claws 421. So that one's still a 421. What did you just do, buddy? Yeah. That was weird. Hey, dragon, what's going on? Uh, let's see here. From this mint one right here. See, this is a 421 too. So I'm just gonna let this one mate and enable mating. Luke, you gonna be out for a while? Wait. Uh, uh I. Excuse don't me. know. You can no. now leave the room. You are speaking very unkind. Um, hey, James. I think you should go outside and sit down on the couch. And I want you to think how inappropriately you just spoke. Do you understand me? 
What were you saying? Now a good time or no? I don't know if I'm gonna be on for three hours from now. Because All right, we'll wait. I'll do it. I'll do it later then. Okay. We don't want to start that. That's the one process you can't stop once that starts up. I mean, unless you cry away. Not much. I've got to try a new game to me recently. Nice. New to you. Always a good. Uh, let's see. You know what? I end up putting that guy away. Grab some more. No, stuff. you can't charge Texas development dust. Also, I found out a weird thing that happens. A weird thing that happens? What happens? When it's fully charged or charged just a little uh -huh. bit, and you transfer it, even if it's not wearing it or wearing it. What is going on with this guy? Um, when you transfer to another server, the charge gets zero. So even when you transfer back, it's just zero. Your tech armor loses all the charge when you transfer servers? Yeah. That's weird. Even when you transfer back. It's not a glitch. That's the way they made it. Well, it's because they're trying to stop you from being able to transfer um, element between servers. Ooh, right there, come on, move. Not really. But it's got a red spot. They're going the wrong way. <laughs> that way. Oh, you got a little red spot in it. It's okay. Right. It's not hurt. There's no damage actually taken. Health is it's fine. Here. It's. It's the torpor that goes up. Is it torpor? Is that what it is? No, uh, it also, oh, it makes, if your dino accidentally falls asleep, you can use a, ooh, cool chainsaw. Walk softly, carry a big chainsaw. Let's see if go with. chainsaw. There you go. Uh, where's that BP? Uh, we all need chainsaw. I gotta fix Caleb's name. So, give me, uh, about a year old for some, but I forgot about it. Hmm, interesting. Forget about it. If we're gonna use the big machine for the uh, la 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 for the Thalcolio saddle, we may as well do it for the chainsaw BP as well. All right, gotta get the, the command. Change somebody. Name. All right, here we go. There's the command right here. Bada boom, and it's MG space. Uh, oh. The new name will be Caleb. Oh, come on. And now James and Caleb have their own characters. So, yeah. for an yes. M oh, it's, uh, MG 168 space. for tech cover six. There we go. Now his name's Caleb. Yay! Wait, do I have to be in the game to be renamed? Yes. I have to be in the game to be renamed. Wait, I don't... Right. Wait, do you? Uh, hey, Dad? Yes. yes, Caleb. There are some boots. There's two broken boots. Tech boots in there. Yeah, I know. Am I going to to fix... What? Yeah, we're going to fix them. They, be they, they belong to Tim. You can't wear tech boots oh. until you actually finish the... Um, the okay. thing. Awesome. But hey, look at this. What do you think? Whoa! Who's this? Thought it's yours. What? Yeah. Thanks, there you go, Dad. Buddy. You're welcome. Thank you, Dad. Whoa. I love you. Yay! There we go. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! It's a little things. Big thylacoke, you know. Daddy, remember something funny that I saw at the rummage sale? What did you see at the rummage sale? It was funny. <laughs> I was organizing these um, books, and then there was this book that had this sentence on it. It said, Barry, did you know? And there was this TV at the back of the book. I said, Mom, do you know who the book this? No. Why don't we get Johanna? Is that what you hear? Who's Johannes? Oh, I have it. Wait, it was uh, in the in the lagoon. Oh no, 
I want to put it in there. I don't know what it is. Oh, I think jar is in there. Where'd you get right. jar back? This one is... That's my Nautilus. I'm going to go hit the uh, cave. Oh, okay. And let's see here. That's my prep uh, is this for bench. But do any stats? What? Say what? There's my bird. Is that my bird? Nope. That's my bird. I didn't know it's a bird. That's F16. Chop. Bye. Flying out. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot underwater gear. Not gonna do very good if I can't go underwater. That was silly. Oh, Daddy, can you um, make Rachel? a floating house? A floating house? Yeah, you yeah. can make a floating house. Um, well, I know the little hey. bridge, but can you actually, like, is there a platform that just floats with nothing under it? Um, sort of. It's, um, the C, C platform, I think it's called. Wait. We'll be using that for the upcoming building company. Oh, what I meant, it's like on ground. Like, you can place it, and then it's up. No, I don't think so. Man, something mom is cooking smells so good. Oh, oh it smells wonderful. Oh. I wonder what she's making. Oh, it smells so good. I wonder if that, I think that's baked. I think she's baking some vegetables. I forget what she's doing. Smelling pretty good. Built the water, eat a little food. I'm glad you found the conference uh, edifying, Nathaniel. Very glad you were there as well. It was, I'm looking, I'm actually looking forward to going back through the videos. Because when you're live streaming, you just, you kind of hear it, but not really. So, I'm looking forward to going back through it and actually listening uh, with more attention. But their chemistry was awesome. I really liked uh, Virgil and Daryl. I started saying earlier, one of the things I really appreciated about them is they were talking a lot about apologetics. And I went up and talked to them, like, hey, apologetics are nice, but it's the gospel that, that people are saved by. There wasn't a single person ever saved by good apologetics. So, once I said that to them, he was like non-stop about the gospel. It was awesome. It was all about the gospel, talking about the gospel, being thoughtful about the gospel. It was awesome. Awesome sauce. I liked the slow pan to see you. You like your wave? I like to I like to do the wave. That's a little wave. Let's see, put that on there and put that on. Oh, put that on. On. Thank you, by the way, uh, Nathaniel, for anything you do do with the. Discord, the ARC Discord, I'm very grateful. One of the jobs I'm looking at or heard about is a job managing a Discord server. I'm like, uh, interesting. What does that mean? Managing, I mean, there's a little bit of work to do, but I don't know. Preference. That's my preference. I had to correct the spelling for Little bit ago. Uh, there we go. Thanks, Tim. And no drop there. You are very well. Coming up on spot two. Thank you, Nathaniel. I am grateful. Anything you do to 
make it more useful? Volumes. And so far we are negative on the first three drop locations. About the fourth. That looks promising. Yeah. What do we got? We got a landfish. Landfish. That was called a rubber band. That's another rubber band. Good night. Can I get out of here, please? Though, I do always appreciate blueprints, but I'm pretty sure we've got blueprints that are better than both of those. A lot of fish out of water. Audio effects. Uh oh. I see you. I see you, Jelly. I see you there. Oh. I'm so sorry. I didn't really see you there. Is there anything up here? Yeah. AI. Made my base bigger. I'm also sorry. It's just hanging out, being chillaxed. I like to chillax most of the stuff. Alright, you are set to neutral. Alright, grab that. What do we got? Um, that looks interesting. That is a good blessing right there. Thank you, Lord. We need wreck saddles for the upcoming battle. That is fantastic. Or as we like to say in the game, fantastic. I'm saying, isn't that a saying? I'm like a fish out of water? Exactly. I'll put. Uh, this guy is not working very well. Huh. Is that the one I was supposed to give Caleb? I gave Caleb the wrong one. Oops. Uh, let's see, I got too many rangers. Hello. There's another one. Come oh, on, be someone good. Let's go. Let's go. Come back to shotgun 273. I think that actually might be pretty good. I don't think we have a 273. Let's go. Alright, nothing there, nothing there. Whoa! Uh, not quite what I meant to do. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Don't blink a minute. There you go. Yes, sir. Just gotta jump like you mean it. Good deal. Hey, bud. How's it going? We're back. Did you wait? I think I am going to have to go use a facilitator. I'm going to check see what's in here first. Hopefully there's something in the water. I didn't see anything in the water, but sometimes you can't see it. Uh, definitely like a fish out of water. We should do that picture. Fish out of water? Ever feel like a fish out of water? Hey, nada. Well, I think we got one good blueprint. That shotgun blueprint. Might actually be our high level. So that's good. We got one more spot we can check on the way out. I got fish. Let's get away from the most of the world. Stop bothering. Stay there, buddy. You're good. I'm good. We're good. You swim. I swim. We swim. Let me see if we all swim together. I think we need to put a sign in here with some sort of thing. Right there. Next time we come in. I think we definitely need to do that. Alright. I wonder, does anybody know, is James White still streaming? Does anybody know? Because if he is, we'll give him a raise.
hard guy. Let's see. I'm assuming he would be under James White, right? James White? Twitch.com slash James White? Uh, I don't think that's him. Anybody get it what the link was? Uh, he ended like two hours ago. Drop me a link so I can follow him so next time he's... Uh, James White. Uh, it's under... Who's that? Oh, okay. That makes sense. 252 followers. Now he has 253. Cool. Cool logo. Like it. So that was it. That was that his like first stream. Boink. All right. Who else we got? Oh. Uh, I'm thinking Gilbert. He's in the Holy Bible. Sounds like Preacher a plan to and me. Lord, and you're Here right, for so I am. Oh, if well. I then, your Lord and oh, teacher, well. have washed your oh, feet, well. you also ought to wash one another's feet, for I have See, given afraid. you an example oh. that you sh uh, you also should do just as I have done to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, reading. a servant is not greater than his master, master. nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Uh, if you know these things, Blessed are you if Come you back. focus. I am not speaking of all of you. I know whom I have been chosen, but the scripture will be fulfilled. He who ate my bread has lifted his heel. Oh, that's himself. bad. I am that's bad. That's talking now about before uh, it takes place. That when Judas. it does take place, you may believe so that I am he. Truly, so truly, I say to you, really who messed up, buddy. The really one messed I up. send receives me. And whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. All right, guys. Well, we will see you tomorrow. I do hope you have a very blessed evening. In his spirit and testified truly. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Good Lord. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom they spoke. One of his disciples, whom Jesus loved, was reclining at table, and Jesus, uh, Jesus, at.